Hey guys, my name is Grace Benson and I'm a freshman here at Central. Um, and my passage that I'm going to be sharing from is Luke 22 verses 15 through 20. So a little bit of context, this is the Last Supper, so right before Jesus' crucifixion, and he's sharing this um, precious bit of time with his disciples. Um, so the verses read, And he, Jesus, said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. So this passage um, is the introduction to communion as we practice it in the church today. And so there's so much that you can talk about with it and all the depth um, and all the fulfillments of the Old Testament and um, the introduction of the new covenant with Jesus' blood. Um, but what I really want to focus on is the way that Jesus says, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. So obviously Jesus is completely aware of all the suffering he's about to encounter. In another one of the gospel accounts, he's literally sweating drops of blood in a garden knowing what's about to come and it's an actual it's actually a proven um scientific state um when the anxiety is so severe and crushing that you can actually sweat drops of blood and so he knows that what's about to happen to him and yet that's not what he's focusing on um he says i have eagerly desired to eat this passover with you speaking to his disciples so i think it's so beautiful that um even with the suffering moving looming um ahead of him He's not focusing on that. He's focusing on those the Father has given him the love. And also just encouragement um, that that's you. The people that um, God has given Jesus to love and the people that Jesus has died for includes us. Um, the part at the end of the passage that said, when Jesus says, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. I just hope that everybody um, is encouraged that the for you applies to you. Um, Jesus really died for you. So if you're ever tempted to think that the work of Jesus on the cross doesn't apply to you, I pray that you would remember this passage and remember how much Jesus really cares about you to focus on those that he loves before the intense suffering he was about to face. So with that, um, I'm just going to pray us out. Um, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for sending Jesus for us, for um, letting him pay the price that we never could pay. Jesus, I thank you for your willingness to do so, and that even in the face of such severe suffering, Jesus, that you focused on us, not on yourself. I pray that you would help us to live like that too, and I pray that you would help us to remember in those moments when anxiety and fear and doubt um, wants to overwhelm us. Jesus, I pray that you would help us to remember how much you care intimately um, for each of us, that you died for us, for me, for the person listening to this, all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks.